is on a virgin land. 50,000 acres of barren land. Nothing there. And according to them, just to provide for the basic infrastructure, that is these roads, the water, electricity, and these kind of basic infrastructure alone, according to their own calculations, with the DPR that they have produced, costs almost 2 crores per acre, which is on a 50,000 acres of barren land, if one were to just lay these basic infrastructure requirements put in place, we're talking about 1 lakh investments, 1 lakh crores of money, which would have to be put in before any buildings could come up or before we could talk about anything else other than the basic roads or the basic electricity or the basic water or the basic stuff. Now per se, does anybody have 1 lakh crores to be pumped in? And if this 1 lakh crores were to be pumped in today, it's going to cost 1, one lakh crores. But if this 1 lakh crores would be pumped in maybe in 20 years time, presuming 5,000 crores of outlay every year approximately, what one could actually probably afford. So there's nothing there. Then you're talking about 20 years. Then in 20 years time, 1 lakh crore probably be, would, would become 7, 8 lakhs or 10 lakh crores. The expenditure what you thought about as 1 lakh crores today, in 20 years would actually be 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, probably the net present value calculations of probably 1 lakh crores 20 years down the line would probably be 1 were to calculate 1 lakh crores today, 20 years down it would be 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 20 lakh crores. And which is going to be a dream chasing. You would never be anywhere. That is the reason why I say I'm nothing against it. It's only something that we can't do it. Whereas here in Wysak we have a place which already has the basic infrastructure. We already have roads. We, have a, we already have good roads. We already have electricity, good electricity, we have good water connections, we have good everything, basic infrastructure is already put in place. So all what we need to do is, given that finishing touches, just give it a little bit of finishing touches and it would transform into something much, much, much bigger. And what are those finishing touches that we need to give? An iconic secretariat. This moment we shift here and christen it as executive capital, you obviously would have the entire employees also come and station here, for which a secretariat building. Why construct an ordinary secretariat building? Construct something iconic, which would stand out, which would attract the entire country to see. An iconic secretariat, an iconic convention center. People talk about uh, one of uh, geo convention center. The latest, the biggest, the best. These are the names that they give. If we have something like that, not much of a cost. Why can't we have one here? So that the entire world, entire country looks up. Iconic stadium. There's one in Ahmedabad. Investment is probably 800 crores, 1,000 crores. 